All right, this is our second video of our mobile project. And um, I've been collecting materials. That was the first part of it and talking about things you might, places you might look and things you might collect, newspaper, magazines, uh, cardboard of any type, boxes, bags, you know, go through your recycling bins if you have one good place for materials. So what I've done in my next stage is I started taking these materials that I've been collecting, like egg cartons and a cardboard box I had. And I take the cardboard box, I'm cutting little circles out of it, like so. Now, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with any. I mean, I'm just doing things. I don't really have a plan except to experiment. Okay, so that's what's important here. So I took these little circles, and the circle in itself is kind of uninteresting. So I took two of them and cut them halfway. And then I can fit them together, like so. And, you know, that becomes a little more interesting, I think. You know, I'm not sure what it is yet. Is it something? Is it worth putting on a mobi on our mobile? Eh, you know, I think it's okay, but I'm not enamored to it. I think it could be more interesting and more complex, perhaps. It's okay. All right? The other thing I've been doing is taking strips of uh, images out of magazines and rolling them into tubes and taping them on the end. And... I don't know what's going to happen with these. I'm just making the components. So this is the next step is you take your materials that you have collected and start to make little parts out of them. And these parts may go together somehow. I don't know how these are going to go together. Uh, if I had a styrofoam ball, maybe I would stick them in and create a little, I don't know, <laughs> thing. But anyway, so that's what I've done so far. The other thing I've done is... I took an old egg carton and started cutting out parts out of the egg carton and gluing them together into something like this. This is kind of interesting, but, you know, I like the shape of it, but it's still so much like an egg carton that I feel like it needs to be transformed a little bit. So I found um, some old, uh, an old maps I printed out, and I'm cutting strips out of it. To cut strips, you can use a noose, you can use a scissors, or I like to use a tear bar or an old ruler. I'll lay it on here, tear strips off of it, and then I put it in this container. I put some Elmer's glue in here with water. So I'm basically doing paper mache. So I'm going to paper mache these little strips of paper that onto this piece. All right. So that'll transform it from being an egg carton, you know, into something a little more interesting, you know. There we go. That's already, I like that already more than, uh, you know. So you got to look at your materials, see what you can do with them. All of you are going to have different materials. Maybe you have some old jewelry you can use, shopping bags from places you like to shop. Uh, who knows? Wrapping paper, uh, you know, any number of things. And so depending on what you have and what you find, you're going to start experimenting. You're going to be creative. <laughs> so that means you know, this is creative art studio. So the idea here is not just to sort of do stuff, do what you already know, because that's not being creative. Being creative is doing something new and different, which means you have to experiment. You have to try things. And most important in that equation is you have to revise. So I'm revising this shape. I did something It's interesting. I'm not completely happy with it. I think I can transform it into something more interesting. So I'm not going to paper mache over it. And who knows? Once that's done, it may be done. Or I may, I may decide it needs something else, you know. Try to stay away from uh, the obvious. Don't be doing hearts and flowers, please, or skulls. Try to create your own vocabulary. When it comes to making art, good artists create their own vocabulary. They don't do the... Um, what exists out there they find their own so I've never done this before and you know but so I'm being creative I'm being interesting and hopefully it'll be engaging or provocative or thoughtful when you see it but in its final form so there I'm creating components for my mobile so I'll keep making these I'll make different kinds each one could be something completely different think of it you're like creating a little solar system you're creating little planets, and each planet has its own elements and color and characteristics that maybe, uh, you know, become interesting. Okay, so there you go. So to step two, 
when I've got a few more components made and I'm ready to assemble my um, mobile, then uh, that'll be our next video. Unless I think of something more brilliant <laughs> or something more important to tell you. All right, wait, thanks.